were some tense moments outside the United Center in Chicago. Pro-Palestinian protesters managing to break down DNC security or security barriers and make it through that first line of the perimeter. News Nation's Mills Hayes joining us live at the protest about a mile or so from the United Center. And Mills, the Israeli officials and family members of hostages, they're expected to be there today. Um, tell us more about that. Hey, and they are, but I wouldn't necessarily call this as a protest. It's more of an art installation. They want to draw attention to the hostages that are still being held up by Hamas. I'm actually here with one of the chief programming officers for the Israeli American Council, Aya Schechter. Aya, talk to me about what the goal is for today. You guys are in this lot. Uh, what is today all about? So today is all about uh, raising awareness to the hostages still being held in Gaza. Some of them are American uh, citizens, and we think that this is an important issue to bring up right here in Chicago, and also to show solidarity with Israel. We don't necessarily have the space to do it in other places around the city and around the DNC, so we decided to do it here, where we can show uh, both the situation of the hostages and our love for Israel in one place. And this is coming a day after yesterday. We saw thousands of pro-Palestinian protesters. And at one point, there was a breach in the security fence at the DNC. Uh, what did you think when you saw how many people uh, for Palestine were here? So the reason why we actually wanted to do this here is that we feel that it's very important and critical that pro-Israel crowd will have a place to show their solidarity with Israel. And that's why we chose to do it here. That's why you see all the security, both the fences and the security personnel here, because we understand that it might not be the safest uh, place to do it. So we took all the measures we could in order to make sure that we can do it safely, but also in the open, because we do think that it is important to be in a public place and in a public space where everybody can see us and hear what we have to say. Right. And overnight, the Israeli Defense Forces said that they found uh, at least six bodies of hostages. When you found that out, how did you feel? First of all, um, we, we feel that the hostages situation is um, so sad and so critical. And that is why we actually invited hostage families to come here, because we feel that it's important for them to see that our community stands with them, that our community stands with um, their loved ones. And I think that this is exactly what we are doing here. We show our love and we show the support to the families of the hostages. So that actually made it even more important to be here today. And right now, obviously, the DNC is in Chicago. So Democratic Party leaders from all across the country are here. What would you like them to know about why you guys are here right now? First of all, I would like them to come here and to speak to us and to speak to the artists who are making these installations and to speak to the families of the hostages who are actually here and wanting to speak to them and explain to them how critical it is to bring uh, the hostages home safely. And what we want to tell them is that Israel and the hostages should never be a partisan issue. That is an issue of the alliance that Israel and the U.S. has that is based on values, uh, Jewish values, as well as American values and Israeli values. And we think that this should never be this alliance should never be broken. And that is something that I really want them to know. We are really cheering for the alliance between Israel and the U.S. to stay strong and to be here forever. And then my last question for you, there was a protester at the DNC last night who was Jewish, who was holding up a sign saying to stop the arms uh, or have an arms embargo on Israel. What do you think when you see people uh, in your Jewish community wanting to see an end to this war? So first of all, I know some people will say uh, that they represent a part of the Jewish community. I don't know who they are. So for me, they, they definitely don't represent uh, not me, not the Israeli American Council and not the crowd that is coming here and is actually asking us and thanking us for being here today and for showing uh, our voice and our support for Israel. And I think this is what most 
of the Israeli and the American Jewish community. And I believe actually the American um, citizens as well want. Um, and uh, so I don't, it doesn't represent definitely anyone who comes here today. All right, thank you so much, Aya. Uh, we'll be here uh, pretty much all day. It's gonna be lasting from about nine to five, and we're continuing to watch them set up all the art installations here. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.